Today is December the 30th. Today, we see the end of the book of Revelation, the end of time. Finishing up our reading of the New Testament, read Revelation chapters 18 through 22. In Revelation chapter 18, Babylon falls. Babylon represents uh, the evil in the world. This is the, the statement that evil is coming to an end. In chapter 19, we see the Lamb and the bride of the Lamb. Then at the end of chapter 19, we shift from the Lamb to the rider of the white horse, on his robe is written, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. There is a, a great war. But the interesting thing, when the, the leaders of the nations of the entire world gather to fight against the rider of the white horse, they start by calling the vultures for the ensuing carnage. And the leaders begin their battle and the rider of the white horse speaks a word. And the word is like a sword that comes out of his mouth. And chapter 19 ends with the saying that vultures all gorge themselves on the dead bodies. In chapter 20, Satan is defeated. He is thrown into the lake of fire. In chapter 21, we see a new heaven and a new earth, and we go to live in the new heaven and new earth. Chapter 22 is a clear presentation of eternal life for those who have given themselves to the Lord. John ends this book with the words of Jesus. Jesus, who in, in verse 7 says, I'm coming soon. And then, who in verse 12, uh, 17 says, The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. Let anyone who hears this say, Come. Let anyone who is thirsty, Come. Let anyone who desires, Drink freely from the water of life. John ends saying, He who is a faithful witness to all these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. John finishes his book by saying, Jesus is coming soon. We live in the hope of Jesus' coming. Hope that one day we'll be able to spend eternity with Him. Thank you for being with us as we read through the Bible in a year. I hope you've enjoyed it. Enjoy this weekend in the church of your choice.